Hey everyone, Jamie with Satellite Gaming here. We wanted to take just a quick minute and show you what we think is one of the most uh, accessible and um, kind of innovative ways to hang out with your students. If you're a youth leader uh, in your community or your family or your friends during this pandemic season where we're all stuck at home. Uh, th this is a game called Drawful 2. It's part of the Jackbox TV series. And uh, we're gonna show you how you can play a game with, uh, again, friends, family, or students all they need is access to some sort of a web browser, so their smartphone, a tablet, a laptop, and all you need is some sort of video conference service that allows you to share your screen. Uh, Zoom, Skype, Discord, all, all those, and, and I'm sure a bunch more, give you the opportunity to share your screen. You don't need some fancy service like I'm using that allows you to have a green screen and your little logo. No, you just need to be able to share your screen. I'm gonna walk through uh, that with you. It's just gonna take a couple minutes. So you see here, this is Drawful. We're going to get you to this point. Uh, I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to minimize this for now. And this here, this is a web browser. The first step, you're going to go to Google. Okay, this is Google. You're going to type in Steam. Boom. Welcome to Steam. Click on this. This is going to take you to store.steampowered.com. I'm going to provide that link for you uh, in a description. So you just click on that link. You're going to um, you're going to click on install steam. I already have it on my computer, but you're going to click this button here and it's going to put it on your computer. Once it's on your computer, you're going to need to create a steam account. Um, when you click log in, you can click join steam right here. You'll create an account. And when you open up steam, um, it's going to have you log in. I'm already logged in, but, uh, it'll show your account name here. Once you log in, it'll have like a login screen. Uh, this is my name here. Add me if you want. We can play some games together. And uh, it's probably going to have you in your library at first. Some people have like thousands upon thousands of games. I, I use Steam a little bit, not a whole lot. But you're going to go to store. That's the next thing you're going to do. You're going to go to the store, and you're going to type in Jackbox. Very simple, Jackbox. It's going to show you um, all or most of what is uh, available to you in the Jackbox series on your computer. This is Steam. Okay, so this is a Steam store. We're looking up We're looking up Jackbox. I downloaded Drawful 2. That's the one we're using as an example. Um, Quiplash is in my cart. Uh, I was uh, making a video earlier. We're going to click Quiplash. We're going to click this to show you what would happen. You click this. You scroll down. It's in my cart right now, but you would click this button to buy. It's going to take you here. It's going to say it's $4.99. You're going to purchase for myself. You're going to purchase this. You're going to go through the process. You're going to do all that mumbo jumbo, and you're going to be able to purchase this game. What will happen is it will put the game into your library. Once it's purchased, it will put it into your Steam library. It's going to be on the left here. As you can see, I have Drawful. This button will say install or download. You're going to do that before you start playing. It'll look like this. It'll say install. I don't have Cash Flow Crashers downloaded right now or installed on my computer. But mine says play because I've already done that before I started doing this video. So once you install it, um, it'll be in your library and you can just hit the play button. We're going to click play now and see what happens. It pulls it up on my second screen. I'm going to put it back on this one. Here you have Drawful 2. Uh, you might be able to hear a little bit of music. Uh, people that are viewing your screen may or may not be able to uh, see that. Depends on if you share your audio. But they don't really need the audio for this. What's going to happen is it comes up here. This is pretty simple. This is where we started the video, right? Here, all I do is I press Enter. I'm going into a game. I'm going to click Play Drawful. Now, um, you can go to Settings. You can turn on the Family Friendly Filter. If you're playing with friends and family, I don't know. Maybe you don't want that on. Maybe you want to have a spicy night with the family. I get it. But uh, if you're like me, you work with youth, you want to have that, fam uh, that uh, Family Filter on. Press Escape to close. Make sure that it's on again. You really want to make sure of that. Click Play Drawful. It's going to connect you to a server. And what will happen is it will say Join on your mobile device at jackbox.tv. I'm on my phone now. I, now. I can't really show you what's going on on my phone. I guess I could, but I'm going to click on a web browser, and I'm going to type in jackbox.tv. Pretty simple. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to erase everything here. It's going to look like this. It's going to look like that. Okay? You may not be able to see it. That's okay. This is it on my phone. I'm at jackbox. Room code. I'm going to type in this one here, F-M-E-J. 
I gotta make a name. My name is Jamie. You can create, you can put any name you want. You can put boss man, poo poo face, whatever you want. And now it shows Jamie. I'm the VIP. When you're the VIP, you can learn this stuff later. You can set it up so you have to approve what people post in there. But what'll happen is everyone does this on their phone. These little question marks will turn into uh, your friends, your family, your students. Um, I am gonna escape. I'm gonna show you one last thing. In settings, you can, um, let's see. You can add censoring on. When turn on allows the VIP, I showed you the first person to log in, to censor other players' answers and drawings. Again, if you work with youth, youth can be turds. They're super fun, but they can draw some crazy, absurd things, and you might say, like, that's a little inappropriate. If you're the VIP, you'll be able to deny those drawings. Oh, I need to move my head here, I guess, don't I, to show you what that is. Um, so you can see here the, uh, the uh, censoring. Turn that on, and it'll show you. Uh, it'll show you this description here below. So I hope this is helpful for you. I hope it's something you enjoy doing. Um, I can put a link in the description uh, of a time where we did this, and uh, it'll be a good example for you. Uh, if you are doing a, some sort of a screen sharing, the screen might be a little pixelated. That's okay. Just have fun, dork around, hang out with your students. Um, there is a way that you can do this uh, using a service called OBS. Um, that's what I'm using. It's open broadcast software. That's a little more complex, but it does allow you to have a bit of a higher quality. Quality. Um, anyway, I love you guys all so much. Satellite Gaming's here for you. If you have any uh, technical questions about uh, ways you can reach your students, your family, and friends during this season of isolation, um, stay awesome and uh, have fun playing some Jackbox games with your family. We'll see you.